What's up guys, Diva Crow here, back with another video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking mainly about Black Ops 2 and a few of the, a few of the new things in Black Ops 2 that I actually really like, such as the ability to save a class, you know? Another thing that I really like that they did for Black Ops 2 is that they, they made it so you can permanently unlock any class you want, so like, I have a DSR 50 gold with everything unlocked with that gun. And I decided, you know what? It's my main gun. Let me unlock it. And so now, like, I can unlock the gun. I get it as soon as I like prestige. I guess I have it. I haven't actually tried prestiging after I unlocked it, but I'll try it later. Um, another thing that they did good is the emblem option for Black Ops 2. They actually oh made God, it more comfortable and more everywhere. usable, so like everybody fuck can you. really like yeah. edit their their um emblem way better than right they used to. Because kind of Black Ops One gave very minimum options, very little like you know opportunities to create emblems, just like eight slots. Black Ops Two gives like twenty eight. Well, yeah, it's like twenty more. <laughs> Hold up. And another thing that I really liked is that it's really good quality, you know? The guns are well quality and the the campaign mode is really like smooth, it's like really intense. And I like how if you if you play on veteran, for example, um you're not gonna get away with the stuff you were able to get away with in Black Ops One. Uh mainly because in Black Ops 1, everything was much, much simpler, uh -huh. and, like, it was, like, easier to pass the maps and shit, then in Model for 3 kind of, like, amped it up, and then Model Black Ops 2, yeah. like, just Dang. went over the top. One second. <coughs> <laughs> you can hear the people complaining in the video. So, it was, like, how do I explain it? It's basically Model for 2 was extremely hardcore when you put it on Veteran, you could barely pass a certain map. But then it went easy. Like, Veteran became an easy mode for Black Ops 2. And then by Model for 3, just Black Tuesday was pretty difficult. And on Black Ops 2, uh, I'm actually stuck at a certain level. Because, like, they really, really, like, amped that up this game and like that's one of the really good things like they're making it more interesting more like hardcore right they make it so people stay glued to the game it's not like it used to be like oh i could beat this easily ba 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 bum and i'm finished nah like now people get hooked on to the game and uh, and like People just like get hypnotized into the game, like, holy crap, this shit is difficult. Uh, I can't beat it right now. Uh, let me. Uh, I gotta come back to it, and you know, it's that kind of shit. And it just, it just really hooks people on to the game. Like, it just keeps us glued to the campaign because it's so intense, so like hardcore. It's hard to just say, nah, I'm not. This shit is boring and you stop playing. It's really difficult to say that. Um, what I did not like about Black Ops 2 is almost every single one of the maps, it's a freaking camping map. Like every map has a small spot where you could just lay down and camp your ass off. Just like sit down and boom, camp. Oh shit, da 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 and kill. And, for example, um, Hijack, if you're inside the boat and you're on top, uh, on the top decks, you Damn could easily put man. on the two entrances to those areas, you could put a stun shot grenade or a, a C4 or something like that. And anybody who... Hold up. And like, Yo, you could stay up though. there and just camp, wait for somebody to come by, and just like, 
kill them with a C4, Claymore, something like that. Or a, a stun grenade, a shock charge, you could toss it. And as soon as they pass by, it like alerts you and then you just go and kill them. It's like really a pain in the ass. And then another thing that they did, thing that they did that helps campers, mainly more than it helps gamers, is they made the, tr the, hold up. They made the Guardian the worst thing they could have done. Yo, you got time and like, it just really blew my Walk shit. Hold up. <laughs> I'm actually stopping this shit to like, send a message. Sorry, back. Alright, so like, it, 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 it's like really full of camping zones. Little maps where you can hide easily and say, aha, this nigga's obviously gonna come back because he just saw me here. So let me just, you know, kill this nigga every time he pass by. And, you know, it's like a freaking pain in the ass for us, like, hard working gamers to, like, really get good gameplay or for snipers to get really good clips for like montages or episodes and shit because there are all these goddamn campers just like hiding their asses off in little corners waiting for us to pop up to kill us so like it's really annoying because every t every single time you try to like get a for example I know a lot of optic and phase members get this shit a lot they're trying to get a good clip. They're getting a, this really awesome kill feed. They're like, all right, I can get like three more kill feeds. Bam, one more. Bam, two, um, two more, two more. Just give me two more. And then boom, a camper just stands up and says, oh, you're not getting that. And just like kills you. It's like really annoying. And like it just blows everybody's shit. When you're really aiming for that feed, you're really aiming for that good clip for an awesome episode or awesome scene in a montage, and then these assholes just go and kill it for you. Like, seriously, Treyarch, message directly to you guys. Next time you make a goddamn game, don't make so many maps where people can camp. Make a map where people have to stay outside whether they like it or not. Because this bullshit that these people could just hide their asses off and kill us every time we're hard we're hard working gamers yeah, and yeah, you just get killed by a bunch of noobs like fuck seriously man, man. Okay. it's like really a pain in the ass nice. cuz like yeah. it's a fucking pain because every it's every single time and I could name at least five gamers that I've probably experienced this more than once. FaZe Wartech. He's a heavy sniper, but... He's a really heavy sniper, but I bet he's encountered this many times. FaZe Cross. Optic Hex. Even the famed Optic Predator has experienced these campers before. Lots of snipers have experienced them. Lots of gunners have experienced them. And lots of gamers have had to deal with them and it's just it just really gets to the point where you stop playing and it's like hold up hold up it's like really fucking annoying because like I said, some of us try to get good clubs and then these campers kill us. No. Like, we're earning our titles, we're earning our stuff, and these dudes are just hiding in little corners, waiting for, oh crap, waiting for us to pass by so they can kill us. And it's like really not cool, man, like, we have to run around, I mean I could choose to simply stay in a goddamn little corner, snipe all day, or gun somebody all day and just hide in little corners i could go all like hold up all like camper and shit and just get those kills if i really cared about it but i'm actually trying to get kills for a good video good edit 
and like every time I'm getting it, somebody has to kill me, and it's just like really blowing mind. And it's not just in Modern Ooh, War in Black Ops right. 2; it's in Modern War right for that. 2 mainly with the hackers and the modders. In Black Ops, Modern War for 3, there are a bunch of campers everywhere you go. It's like really pain in the ass. And then another thing that really blows my game is when there's a freaking ass munch with a goddamn. Is a freaking ass munch with a goddamn shotgun that all he has to do is spray the crap or just shoot randomly and he'll hit you. He doesn't even have to aim for you. He doesn't even have to aim for your goddamn head. He could just aim randomly at you and he will kill you. And that's just like really unfair for us other gamers that actually have to earn everything we do. Every, like, if we want to be Master Prestige, we have to. We really like work our asses off. These dudes don't give a shit. They 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 just camp in little corners, or they just run around with a striker or a or a fucking sh um, spaz twelve and just shoot the first shit they see. That's like fucking bullshit. Like Treyarch weaken the goddamn shotguns, minimize the freaking range because their range is ridiculous. You you really messed you messed up the good guns for tryharders that don't camp, and s fucking fixed up the bad guns for fucking noobs. That's just freaking annoying. Like if Treyarch can fucking minimize the range and strength of a goddamn shotgun, that would be magically perfect. It would be perfect. Cause like, there's always a goddamn fucking dickhead. That has to run around with a motherfucking shotgun and kill every nigga in sight. And that's just bullshit. It's just fucking bullshit. Another thing that blows mine is the kill streaks. I was actually expecting to see the Pegasus. But I guess that's in the campaign. I haven't reached to that point yet. But I guess it's in the campaign. What the fuck? God damn, your mouth got your face got destroyed. So like No. It's really like I was I really expecting the kill streaks to be exactly what I saw, because when people really were first God, checking out the gameplays for Black, Black Ops 2, Black. they were seeing all these different things. They were seeing the Pegasus. They were seeing the X-ray sniper, and people were really excited for it. Everybody was like expecting it, saying, "Oh, awesome! We're getting this shit. Nope. This is fucking awesome!" And when yeah. you get the game, no. you play, it's just bullshit. It's just bullshit. But Either way, um, the game itself is pretty good, except for the, you know, the maps full of camping spots for everybody, and the shotguns being overpowered. The game itself is pretty good, and like, it's a really fun play. It's a really fun game to play. But if I had to pick a game, holy shit, to make a profession as an editor, I would only play probably Modern Warfare 3 and 2. Model for three because I, I just love sniping in that game. Model for two because that's like One best kill. trick shotting zone. No, get away from me! God damn. Ah! And it's like it's just simply that. Oh god. It's the best zone for trick shotting. So if I had to pick a perf um uh, area to spe a specific game to edit no. as my main okay. editing ground. Uh, oh, once geez, again, holy yeah, shit, it's Mayhem Miller. Once again, cool. my main area RPG to edit damage. would mainly be Modern Warfare 3. Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Black Ops 2, I would not, like, make those a main area. I would edit for them, I, I would the edit chicken. the gameplay, but I wouldn't, like, choose it as a main yeah, place to pick, to get clips at. On, because it's just full of bullshit. It's just annoying, full of camping bullshit. Oh shit. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you want any other things, like if you guys want me to talk about other types of games or other types of things. And you know what? If you just give me a topic, hope you die. Like post a comment on the link like in the comments below, post uh oh you should talk about this or on the just inbox me. What you want me to talk about next, and I'll I'll talk about it. 
Or not. Trust me, I will. I mean, this, I'm talking about Black Ops 2 and my thoughts oh, yeah. on it. These are basically all my thoughts on Black Ops 2. I'm talking about it because somebody requested it. Like, somebody on my old YouTube channel um, left a message asking me to give my thoughts on Black Ops 2. And I, I just like, you know what? He requested it. I'm going to do it. And this is that's, that's basically why I, I did it. And yeah, that's so yeah. Like, subscribe. Um, I'm probably gonna. I have to expand this. Vi I have to expand this video. So if it gets cut off mid gameplay, don't wonder why. Just say uff. Oh, fuck it. He planned on making it a short video, and it turned into a long video. Well, that's all, guys. Deval Crow out. Remember, I'm still recruiting for the Demigod Clan. So Demigod Dead Eyes, out of here, bro.